Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time. We are still in 1981, and today we're going to talk about Stargate. The story of Stargate takes us back to Williams Electronics. We last talked about Williams Electronics in our video on Defender. Inspired by the success of Defender, the game's creators, Eugene Jarvis and Larry DeMar, began working on a sequel. In order to gain more freedom, Jarvis and DeMar would leave Williams Electronics in order to form their own company. VidKids was created in 1981 as a video game developer. It would be through VidKids that Defender would get its sequel. Stargate would become that sequel, improving on the formula that was created in Defender. The working title for Stargate would be Defender 2 but the name could not be kept because Williams Electronics still held the rights to the name. Stargate is a horizontally scrolling shooter. It improves upon Defender by adding new aliens, now named the Arata. Arata is Atari Backwards, one of Williams Electronics' main competitors. Stargate also introduces new mechanics, including a cloaking device that makes the player ship invulnerable for a limited amount of time, a stargate that will transport the ship to a humanoid in trouble, and two special stages. The first special stage is the Labian dogfight, which first appears at Wave 5. The name is a reference to Bally Midway, another video game creator. The second special stage is the Fire Bomber Showdown, which first appears at Wave 10. In these stages, there is no planet and no humanoids to rescue. It is purely a fight between the player and the aliens. The player can hold several humanoids at once. If the player is able to collect four humanoids and then enters the Stargate, the player will then be warped ahead several levels, although this can only be done in the first 10 levels. Developed by VidKids, Williams Electronics released Stargate to arcades on October 21st, 1981. And that is the short backstory of Stargate. With that now told, it's time to play the game for ourselves. And here we are in the game. This is Stargate. As you can see, my name is prominently displayed on the top of the Immortals list. We'll talk about that in a bit. But this is Stargate. This one is going to be difficult for me. It's a little bit easier than Defender, I would say, but it's still going to be difficult as the difficulty ramps up for me, definitely. Uh, you can see there's a lot more going on on the screen here. Uh, this is a high level uh, play. Um, I'm not going to be able to match that. It looks like they have four there. Yes, they were able to make it through the warp in the demo. Uh, that's not something that I anticipate doing, but we will see what I can do against just the onslaught of enemies that they are going to throw my way. It's very similar to Defender, but starts off easier and then gets harder in my opinion. So we're going to see how far I can make it. Uh, there are two ways to play this. Let's go ahead and drop a quarter in and we can take a look at both of them. Uh, you can play either a one credit game, uh, which is kind of your standard. You get your three ships, your three smart bombs, and your three inviso units. Uh, I probably won't be using those to their best effect. We're going to play a two credit game that allows me seven ships, seven smart bombs, and seven inviso units. That will hopefully help me out quite a bit, uh, but we can see what I can do. Let's put in two quarters and head in. Alright, just kind of shoot, shoot and hope for the best. Ah, they're already coming for me. Yeah, these enemies, they loop from top to the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure the actual logistics of that, the physical ramifications, and I have let a mutant get formed. It's coming for me. We need to go. Alright, the mutant, the mutant's still coming for me. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to reverse. I don't like reversing. Alright, so we just have the mutants to go, and they got me. 
Yeah, all the landers have been destroyed. It's just the three mutants. All right, and then there's one this way. I don't like going this way, but it is something that I can do. All right, attack wave one is done. Uh, like I showed before, I did practice that it kept my score, uh, which I was kind of surprised to see, um, but it spawned where I was. That's great. Um, I was able to get 6,900 points, which as you can see is not, not a good score. Now I'm just dying a ton. I need to start using my smart bombs. That's something I need to do. Alright, boom. Go away. That is a small little enemy that they have there for me. Like I said, it, it gets harder very quickly. How did I miss? That went right through him. That went right through the mutants. Yeah, I'll probably be playing a couple times. And let's just take that out. Alright, I only have three humanoids remaining. Nope. Alright, well I was already able to beat my uh, previous score. Like I said, I was just kind of testing things out, making sure I knew what was going on in the game. Alright, well I got some. I'm down to my final life, though. Alright, uh, there's a, there's a whole bunch of things on the screen there. And then they shot me. Well, I was able to get a free life. That counts for something. Didn't realize that was gonna split on me like that. Down to my final life here. Um, let's just kind of use all my smart bombs here. And there. And then it runs into me anyway. All right, you know what? Not the best score granted, but we did all right. Uh, we'll, we'll put in a name here. Not that it really matters. I haven't figured out how to get, um, how to get to just accept what I've done so far. <laughs> um, we'll see if I can figure that out. All right, so we'll put in my actual name here. And let's figure out if there's a button that I can press to make that go away. Nope, that's all the buttons. All right, so we'll just leave spaces after that. Enter in my initials too. Decent run, but Obviously, we could do better. I don't anticipate ever getting the um, the Stargate Warp to work for me. I would be happy to make it to a special stage, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Let's not do the probably seizure-inducing thing and try again. I can't hit things. It's kind of always been my problem with Defender is that I'm not accurate. Even when it feels like I should be accurate, it doesn't seem to work the way that I want. Focused on these guys too much, too many mutants are being made over here. Should have hit one of them. All right. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll he'll be fine. Couldn't catch him. That's the way that I have to do it, though. You have to get four of them doing that. Didn't save him. I don't know if you know this, but when humans fall from great heights, they explode. Ran right into that one. All right, we got you. No, no. Yeah, these things loop still. Are you still chasing me? You should have been dead. And I killed the human. Killed the human again. Jeez. All right, um... 
Yeah, I hate these things. I think those are the Alabians, right? Which is like bowing backwards. I'm just trying to use more of my of my smart bombs. I haven't really used the invisibility. Wow, all right, thought I hit him. I was wrong. I have to hold the button, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be difficult for me. Can I hit him? All right, got a free life. Apparently I'm not only invulnerable, I can hit them and kill them still. Jeez, there's just so much going on here. No! Alright, well, I did get a better score. Still not a great score, but a better score. The planet surface is unstable, and all the humanoids have been abducted. That's what that means. So now I get to just kind of fight. And hope for the best. I'm kind of running out of everything. Oh, that's right. They got the splitters. I haven't made it past those splitters yet. Yeah, I'm not particularly proud of that, but I mean, that was a better run than before. So I guess we'll put in, put in my name for that. Sure. We'll put in Baller Scuba here. That should be able to fit. It's like 11 characters. New high score. We probably got like one or two more runs left in me. And B S blank. All right, we did it. We got a new high score. As you can see though, I've barely made the, the list of mortals at the bottom, so they did not anticipate me doing much here. Oh, once again, we have that. Let's, let's get through that. I don't know if that's gonna cause any uh, problems for people, so I don't wanna leave that on the screen too long. I'll put up a warning about that. Yeah, if you guys could not spawn like right where I am, that would help me out. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop him. I don't see a point in trying to go for the warp here. There we go! I'm trying to use what skills I had gained from Defender, but it is difficult. Let's just get rid of the mutant. No! That was the second one. Alright, all landers destroyed. I just need to take out... No! Just take out the mutants when, when that happens. No! Wasted one. Like, what am I, what am I doing here? Okay, down they go. Let's see what I can do. They're the Alabians here. Right, just perfect timing on that. I don't think I live long enough for a mutant to be created. Yeah, they just kind of tail you a bit there. And there's the mutant. Yeah, I'm playing worse now. Those things just stick on you. I was trying to shoot that thing because the last one stuck to me. This is not a good run. Not good at all. I need to use my smart bombs. And my invisibility, but the invisibility is, is awkward for me to use. Okay, apparently I can't even take out one enemy like that. Come on, get into range. I thought I saw a mutant somewhere. 
There you are. All right, last one. All right, and I saved him. All right, on to wave number three. And I said, these things just tail you. Let's just deal with that. Just defeat that. That's not... All right, well, you know, decent run. I think this is a new high score for me. We'll try to... Like I said, it's it's awkward for me to... to use this. Like, the, the button configuration is odd for me. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't know if you guys saw that. It opened up a new menu for me. Yeah, it keeps doing that. All right, well, I did okay there. I think that's going to be my final run here. Uh, decent run. The, the, the game is fun, don't get me wrong, but I just don't have the skill set to keep track of all of it. A as time would go on, obviously, I would get better as I continued, uh, but ultimately, this is very similar to Defender, just kind of more things going on. And although I would say the first level is easier, it just kind of gets harder um, quickly. All right, yeah, new high score. Couldn't break 20,000, that's all right. I was able to make it to third on the mortal list. Couldn't beat Dr. J or LED. Uh, but yeah, let's make sure that doesn't show up for people. But that is Stargate, that is the game. And with the game now played, let's talk about how it holds up today. Playing the game today, it's hard to separate my thoughts about this game from my thoughts on Defender. Uh, they're very similar games. It's basically the same game with a little extra thrown into it. Uh, playing the game today, it is difficult. It is something that requires a skill set that I do not have. I've never been particularly good at shooters, so you have to kind of take everything that I say with a grain of salt. But the game is difficult. It requires the time. It requires the dedication, and I don't necessarily have that for these games. Uh, it is fun, though. It is a game that I could go back to. Is it something that I would prefer over Defender, though? Probably not. Stargate is probably only a game for people that have gotten so good at Defender that they want something with a bit of an extra challenge, a little bit more variety. That's what could bring people to Stargate over Defender. For me, from the outside, I would prefer Defender. I think it is a much cleaner game, something that I could get better at, even though there are some things that get frustrating for me in both of these games. Uh, Defender would probably be the one that I go to. Uh, with that said, this is a game that is often forgotten compared to Defender, and I feel that is not necessarily where this game should be. It should be a game that is remembered. Uh, it is a good game, and one that hardcore shooter fans, especially of the early arcade era, would want to go back to. It is something that poses quite a bit of a challenge. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of variety. There's a lot of difficulty spikes as the game goes forward. And of course, there's new objectives. You're now looking at trying to rescue four uh, of the humanoids all at once so that you can skip stages and make it to the harder levels without risking losing a, a life. That's something that Defender definitely didn't have. It also allows you to maneuver around the map a little bit easier with the Stargate if you don't have the humanoids attached. There's a lot going on in this game that can be appreciated for more hardcore shooter fans. Uh, but me not being one of them, I would prefer Defender to this. But that's just kind of my opinion. Uh, in terms of graphics, the graphics are pretty much the same as Defender. They hold up pretty well considering uh, that this game is as old as it is. Uh, the sound also is about the same as Defender. They hold up okay. Um, it's not necessarily the best sound that I've played in a game, but it is something that um, does convey at least what is happening on the screen somewhat. In terms of replayability, that just kind of depends on how 
much you like shooters and how much you like difficult shooters, if you're a fan of those, uh, then this is a game that you'll probably want to come back to and get better at. If shooters aren't necessarily your thing, uh, I would stick to Defender instead of this, simply because there's so much going on on the screen that it takes a lot more dedication to get better at it. Uh, you have to have all these different strategies in mind, and it does appear a little bit more chaotic, this game, uh, compared to Defender. So, something that is worth remembering, uh, worth playing at least a little bit to get a sense of it, uh, but worth dedicating a lot of time to get better at, probably not where I would be. And that is my modern take on the game. When the game was released, Stargate would prove to be successful, selling 15,000 units in North America. Although that was far short of Defender's 60,000 units, Stargate was popular. The game was also reviewed well by the critics. The game would spawn its own ports, which we will talk about in the future. With Stargate's success, VidKids proved themselves capable of creating video games in the marketplace, and we will hear from this small company again. That of course means we will hear from its co-founders and the creators of Stargate, Eugene Jarvis and Larry DeMar again. We will also hear from Williams Electronics again, as their continued success in 1981 would continue past 1981. And that will do it for the story of Stargate for now. My name is Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in our next video, where we'll be a bit more constricting.